This podcast is rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Some material may not be suitable for children. Welcome to the Mission 250 Filmcast, where we are watching every movie on the top 250 movies of all time list, according to IMDb. This week, we are watching number 230, which is the 1975 movie Barry Lyndon, directed by Stanley Kubrick. Uh, The synopsis of this movie is, an Irish rogue wins the heart of a rich widow and assumes her dead husband's aristocratic position in 18th century England. I am one of your hosts, Denny, and joining me are... John and TC. And this week, it is John's turn to go first with impressions. John, what did you think of this movie? Um, uh, I, so this this is one of the movies I wish that I wish that I had known kind of what its style was before I watched it. There's most of the time I want to be surprised. Um, this one is really, it is challenging in some ways because, uh, it's, it's not, uh, it's not about a very likable person. Uh, who he doesn't really do very likable things. And it's just sort of like um, presented in a very slow, careful way because the movie's quite long. And I, I, it's it's really more about the style of the movie instead of the story or the characters. Uh, and the style is fantastic. Uh, there, There's like so many shots where the camera just like starts and then pans back. And the, the, the scene looks like a friggin' painting. Yeah. Um, and and it happens over and over again, and it's usually with this kind of camera that just pulls back slowly, and as you just just allow you like to sort of register all the things that yeah, are going yeah, on in the yeah, scene. Yeah, true. Um, and and it's just beautiful. It, it it's just amazing, and the music is also amazing. And um, there's such there's so there. I don't know how many times this happened. I noticed at least twice where the actors would come in and step to the ending beats of the music. Oh, like I know. How stop. good was that, dude? Now, it was like, dink, dink. And I was yeah. like, yes. <laughs> it was that awesome. Was sweet. I, do, I don't know how much. I only I only like saw it, but I, I feel like the, the music was very, very carefully orchestrated along with the shots. Yeah, because um, I honestly thought, like, how could they have, how would they have done it? Per- like, some of those times when they, like, stomped their feet to the end of the song. Yeah. Like, how would you not have figured that out ahead of time? I I, I get. I don't know if they're playing I mean, it and they're doing it like it's a dance. And, and, and I guess they could have edited to it, but it seemed like it was so like it. Everything resolved right to that spot. Yeah, and that I, was that was freaking. I mean, so I wish I would have just not. I would have. I, I would have been happier. I think if I went in this movie knowing, okay, I'm not really gonna like the main character. I'm not. I really shouldn't like worry about like his path or anything like that. It's really more about. Um, just sort of the, the 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 artistry of the film, um, and I think I would have been happier. But I was trying to get into the story, and then I was sort of more annoyed by it. You know, kind really? of. Really? Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't really. I mean, I didn't care for Barry, and but and that's the point. The story oh, is like can't wait to get to me. I got yeah, yeah, yeah. to go next. <laughs> he's like, he's go like next. okay, so he's like an uneducated <laughs> guy who's. I mean, he, I guess you got to admire. He's very ambitious and courageous in some ways. So there's that, I suppose. But otherwise, he's just quite willing to use people and do whatever he wants to get his means without really caring, except with the exception of his son. Um, so anyway, I, I, I thought the duel scene was amazing. Um, the mm. second one where he, he duels the, the son of, of his wife. Um, that whole sequence was, was pretty fantastic. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, again, I, I think what I'd like to do, which I won't probably get to do until like maybe over five years from now, maybe we should have a list of the films we all should watch again. Um, I would. Yeah, I could put this one on one idea. of those lists for sure. Because yeah. I, I, it saddens me because I feel like this is one that I now I know kind of how it works. And I'd like to maybe just sit back and be able to just try to enjoy it for what it is. Instead of instead of maybe thinking it was something else and then being like, oh, I don't like this for that. It's not like a hero action movie, you know. Yeah. Um, huh. Okay. So that, is that that's probably plenty. That's that's okay. good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. TC, you go. Right, you go, well, now. go, um, go. I'm I'm a little different here. So I thought the story was friggin' awesome. I mean, come on, guys, an Irishman. I'm an Irishman. <laughs> Breaks He's the an glass asshole. on the Englishman's face. <laughs> I'd break a Englishman's face with some glass. <laughs> Uh, the, um, yeah, I found, I, I thought the movie was awesome. It was precise. Um, the images were all well thought out. Set design and wardrobe were unreal and believable, even if it's not perfectly to the, 
spec. I didn't care to look it up. I was like, this is just looks awesome. It's apparently to spec. Is it? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> it's Kubik. Yeah. And, um, so, yeah, I thought the storyline was very provocative. Uh, it had a lot of evil in it. It had a lot of, like, goodwill intentions, even though there was, like, he's on a terrible path, but he's still trying to do something right, and then the money comes in and things go all awry, and he's just kind of, like, on a normal path for a normal human being that got screwed and doesn't care. Is out to get anything he can now, because what else did he have before? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, um, yeah, I thought it had a lot of interesting topics. It had dealt with like family, war, homosexual relationships, gambling, being a gangster, being a double agent, having a family and how hard that can be. Uh, it had like tragedy involved when that kid gets paralyzed. I mean, it really hit like every random outcome that life presents normal people with, right? I mean, it was just a typical story of a drunk Irishman, even though he wasn't really a drunk, but they all are. <laughs> right. He wasn't uh, really yeah, a little bit. bit. Ki- kind of yeah. just kind of meandering through life and just getting the shit end of the stick and being like, I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah, but um, not ca- caring about the people he was around. I think that other than his son, he really was kind of well, indifferent. Well, he, he liked that older guy, even though they screwed him. You know, he had that thing with the older guy with that when he before he got shot. And, I mean, yeah. he had and some, he had like a heart. It was just, it was just, you know. The it Chevalier was kind of, uh, or whatever the hell that is. Yeah, the Chevalier, right, yeah. right. No, I mean, no, I, it, no, not no. the Chevalier. That was like the general guy. No, no, guy the other whatever, guy. The, the, the guy yeah, that the he, guy ki- the, he gave him a kiss him. before dying. Oh, that yeah, was that was strange. Guy. Yeah, yeah, that was strange. <laughs> that um, was strange. So yeah, I felt like it made like a normal statement on human nature and how like everything's kind of outside your control and you just kind of jump into one thing or the other. And back in that time, it seemed like really difficult if you're, getting robbed for all your money like what do you do next right yeah huh. kind of come up with some kind of story for you so yeah i thought like it drove those points home um with you know while we were happy thrilled sad inspired sometimes because it was just so damn good to watch like as far as the art was concerned um and then you know the detail in the frame was just impressive so um and of course i always love a good fighting irish so that was uh <laughs> that, I, yeah as soon as that dude threw the glass in the guy's face i was like i'm in <laughs> i'm in yep this i'm in this is me this it's is good i like guy. this yeah this is kind of good <laughs> oh, this is good nice. so anyways that's where i'm at i thought this film was great i will definitely watch it again so throw that yeah. on the list um, awesome and one thing I do agree with you, John, that soundtrack, man, it was relentless at times, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the high anxiety points, it was just dun, 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 just like, and it just, just continued. There was no dynamics. It was just in your face. But it, it, blended, like, it still blended really well. It didn't like annoy me. Like I felt like, you know, it was Right, it was right. Like, like it was kind of on it concurrently with it. It yeah, wasn't like yeah. deteriorating from it or like, um, not deteriorating. It, was, it wasn't taking away from it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, detracting, yeah. right. And uh, so, yeah, I thought the soundtrack was was great. Sparse when it needed to be in building tension and then just in your face when it was like in the middle of a horrible scene. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. Well, well I thought spoken, it was awesome. Sir. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Uh, so my turn. I don't know if you guys have noticed I've been <laughs> very silent during this mm-hmm. uh, this part in the beginning here. Uh, first, I want to say just as a little little tidbit. Are we, we going to have a Denny drop the mic? This moment? is a negative. This is a Denny this negative. Is a negative. This might be. Wait, you, th- so you first, think it's a negative? First, Stanley. This is the first Stanley Kubrick movie we've watched. He is yep. tied for number one for the most movies on this list. Um, tied with uh, Steven Spielberg and one other person we haven't gotten to yet. But just to we put got, that out, what do we got? We got a Clockwork wow. Orange and The Shining. Oh, and pretty much everything. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so, pretty much you know all of them. I will yeah. also say that. Uh, a few of his movies are some of my favorite movies ever. And I want to put that out there too before saying that I ah, was comes the bomb. bored to tears watching this movie. <laughs> really? To tears. There, I had to restart. Like I had to go back at one point a half an hour because I realized I wasn't paying attention and I, I, like, I uh, wanted to pay attention. That happened multiple uh, times. Uh, and by the end, I wrote down three times. End it already. Just like, end. Wow. Just end. Dear wow. God. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. And I feel bad. I didn't, I didn't have that I, at all. Yeah, no. dude, I'm jealous, DC, of your, your description. Like, that was, I think that was the most passionate description you've had of a movie so far. And, I think yeah. so, yeah. And this is the most bored I've been by a movie. Like, how is that possible? Uh, I don't know. I've been reading. Maybe you got to a point where you were so bored, you were just like, you gave up. No, I, like, I tried to get into it. I, I really tried. Uh, mm. And... And there's not like there's you know I want to be on the side of the team that you know likes this movie because at right now I feel like 
after listening to you, I kind of understand it, but reading reviews, I'm like, these people are just lying because everyone likes Stanley Kubrick and everything he's do- he does, you know? It's just like, yeah, yeah. to be a movie critic, right. you have to like this, even though it's just like a yeah. tedious bore of a movie. Um, huh. It had mixed reception at first, I think, even amongst the critics, I think. It did, it did yeah. It didn't yeah. do well at first. Yeah, for like yeah. 20 years, it didn't do well. Yeah, uh, right. I don't know. I think, I mean, I disliked the character a lot. I mean, I think we all... Kind of did. I don't know. Like nope, you said, I loved him. You loved him. All right. I hated yeah. him. I thought he was yeah. like a complete asshole and not like in an interesting way. He was so flat. Like it seemed everything to me seemed so flat. Like all the acting was just like slowly turning to somebody and like uh, mm. romances developed out of like thin air and the voiceover would come in and kind of explain to you. Like, like a little exposition. Well, well, usually yeah. you would explain stuff and, yeah. and so that they wouldn't happen. It's like, and then they fell in love. Yeah, exactly. Well, like, yeah, I mean, sorry, endless yeah. exposition isn't great. Yeah, right. So I agree. What did you guys well, think of the voiceover? I mean, I, I agree. It kind of, you know. Uh, well, yeah. it sort of, every time it just told you what was going to happen. It's like, yeah. yeah. And so it, again, it, it, I, I think, you know, this is by design and it, it took away, like, it's not any surprise in the film. Like, um, most of it, the dueling scene, actually, you didn't really quite know what the outcome was going to be there. They at least let you, it didn't start with, and then he will get shot in the leg. And then yeah. shortly after and we'll in this movie. Yeah. But they did say at one point, the, uh, the narrator said like, oh, he is about to lose. Like, so I forget what he says exactly. He said, well, he's about to lose his, we knew it was when his kid died. They were, they were like, they brought that up well beforehand. Right. The Why? Did, right? Why? Yeah. So the kid was going to make it. Uh, oh really? Oh God, no! Mm-hmm. Not after not after Mr. Narrator said he was about to lose everything and die friendless. And I just thought he got and... like paralyzed. I didn't I didn't put the oh. two and two together. But then I realized it's a period piece, and there was no doctors back then. Really, they were just like yeah. guys that looked at the body. Ah, yep, yep. <laughs> All right, yeah. you have a good one. <laughs> You're dying. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. All right, All right. have a good one. Yeah, That'll be go twenty find, shillings. Yeah. 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 We know where you can get a deal on a nice tiny coffin. <laughs> <laughs> I got a guy. Don't worry. We, we, I, got I got a guy. Don't worry. Yeah. It'd be beautiful. We get, we got sheep. We got sheep carriers. Just draw the coffin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't that, you worry. That sheep coffin was used twice, or the, uh, the at least the, the carriage was. It was at his birthday the sheep party. Carriage. Oh, um, oh, was it too? Uh, I didn't yeah. notice the reuse of the sheep carriage. That's a little sad. But I mean, like, so I thought that if they had cut off like two hours, it, it would have been. So I, I get what you're saying. I'm glad you guys appreciated it for what it was. I wish I could. I think for at least where I was when I watched it, if they had cut it down by like an hour and a half, there were a lot of parts where I was like, wow, that's like gorgeous, you know, or like, that's hilarious. But then 90% of the time I was like, all right, that I get it. Go next. You know? Right. Yeah. Mm. Let's, let's move along. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. What do you guys think about uh, paintings? Do you enjoy paintings? Looking at like <laughs> paintings? <laughs> Not really. I, 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 once I, again, Bob I Ross think, paintings. No, I'm just kidding. I think I would have enjoyed, I would have enjoyed like reading like some, the positive and negative reviews of this film before I saw it. And it, most of the time I, I'd rather not do that before seeing a film. But I, like I was saying before, I think if I was even more prepared to be like, all right, some of the critical reviews are, are more just like, this is, this is the whole point is to not, that, that this is just life and it's just happening to him. Right. And, yeah. Cause life is long and life is full of bull. And right. here's all these things that happen, you know. But unlike, say, um, Fanny and Alexander, where that's kind of the same idea in some ways. Um, mm-hmm. you know, in, in a lot of the scenes, you know, with, with, with Fanny and Alexander, you feel like you're just kind of watching what's going on. And it's it's great. But you you also feel involved. And it did, it moves slow, too, at least in the first half. Yeah. Um, but at least there was dialogue here, in that, you know. Right. Well, well, no, but here Kubrick has, he he wants to, he he, and this is why, he, you know, he's so um, highly acclaimed and, and that's part of his style. He has a very specific way that he wants to present this movie and, and his how, character, and for everything. You to feel. And, yeah. and he, yeah, exactly. He wants, right. he wants everything to be like this. He's like, all of those decisions, like, yeah, I want the narrator. I want him to tell you exactly or more or less what's going to happen because I don't want that to be the focus of this film. This film's focus is not going to be, oh, what happens next to Barry? Nope. <laughs> so we're just going to take any of that suspense out to whatever extent we can. Um, I want to see a cut of this movie where they just remove the narration and keep yeah. everything else in. <laughs> I think that would be way better. Really? Possibly. But that I was the know. point. But the point of the narration is to take that suspense out. He, Kubrick didn't want this film to have that element. That's so in it. weird. <laughs> and I mean, I, I agree that it's definitely a conscious decision. The movie is extremely uh, strangely the same throughout. You know, it's like a weird style. 
that I've yeah. never really seen it's, before. It's like I, I do feel like, and again, I, I think I think it's awesome, TC, that you that you like the character so much. I, and I, I agree with Denny. I wish I, I would have liked to enjoy this film more too. But well, I, I think I, I, do, like, I think what I felt, I think I just I, I related to just a normal person going right. through stuff and being jaded and not caring about anything right. this, but this, himself at that point when he got to that place, you know, and just being kind of just just kind of a, a, a f up in some ways where you're just like. You know, ah, all right, you're kind of going along with it and you're just, but whatever, you're just trying to, you know, he's sort of like rolling with things and trying and, and being clever in some ways and brave in others, but then also not being, not caring about well, the people and I, around And him. I also felt like the rest of the people around him were not to be liked either. So he was just right. fitting in with these horrible society. Like this right, horrible right. echelon of society. But he was a part of it. A he prick. was a big part of a, how horrible it was. Like he himself. Well, is but so are the rest of the people. That's how they acted. That's all of them. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. I think everybody was like cold and distant, sort of, like, yeah. like Denny was saying. So it's like, that's the world. And um, I don't know if it's the message. Is it, is it, do you think Kubrick's wanting to say, this is how people really are? I don't think that's the, the case. Although he tends to be dark. I, yeah, it could be. I think that's that kind he, of the, was, uh, he was connecting the modern age of man to an older time where everything is exactly like it is now. People are going to be shitheads. They're going to do stupid things. They're going to fuck up. They're going to lie. They're going to be jaded. They're going to take advantage. And that's how it is all the time. And it's not like how you live your life. It's how you react to that kind of stuff. He didn't react great, but he didn't have shit. I mean, the first scene is him losing all his money. Yeah. And then having to figure it out. Like, and then right. just like ending up. And then as he ends up in these other predicaments, it makes him a jaded person. Right. His dad was, what, his dad was killed in a duel, right? Yeah. Wasn't that uh, right at the beginning? Yeah. Um, Can we talk about so, I mean, duels? He, I don't know how. Yeah. By like, the way, how awesome is polite and how polite were those duels? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it. He's going to shoot you now. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's so like, there's different rules for different duels. You notice that? Like one of them yeah. has both of them pointing the guns at each other. Like that's a weird yeah, way right. to do it. And then the other one is right, like where you turns. both fire at the same time. Yeah. yeah. That was funny. I don't get it. Did they really do that? I don't Did know. Did they really do that? I hope duels not. Were, uh, duels were definitely a thing. I just don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know how the rules worked. but I always thought it was like you face back to back, and then you take 10 paces out, and then and you, you turn spin and around fire. and that's fire. A, that's a Western. Right. That's a Western. Yeah, well, that's just because that's the kind of movie you saw with the duels in it, and this is different. Right. Yeah. <laughs> They're both stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was just so polite. That was the, it was, I'm like, no one would be this polite. Like, just shoot the guy that's, already. You know? I think a big part of the, maybe the big part of the problem for me was that the duels, I thought, I mean, I'm sure they happen that way but also i didn't understand why uh what's his name redman or was that his real name barry redman yeah, yeah or just barry whatever barry was uh linden he got oh, before linden before linden yeah. before he was linden yeah he got in trouble for firing at that uh that captain or whatever in the beginning how does how like that doesn't make sense to me if they're in a duel i thought that was the way to like settle differences and if you can get in trouble for dueling why would you do it because you don't have another choice. No, you could go like, if you're going to get, I don't know, they, it, they act like he was being charged with murder, right? And the whole thing was a setup, but I mean, why, right. if you were going to murder somebody, like if you were mad enough at them to try to murder them, why wouldn't you just go murder them? Because that's not how they worked back then. They were polite. It was, it was <laughs> they were gentlemen. Honor. It, was, it, and they it were, was an honor. Yeah, it wasn't Well, and they were men of property. And, yeah. you know, like they're just, they have this stupid, uh, like, aura about them as if they're better than everybody else. So they handle things in a much more sophisticated manner. Like, it's all a bunch of bullshit, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I see what you're saying. I, I'm with you. Like, I totally get it. It didn't make sense to me either. As someone who punches people in the face, it didn't make <laughs> sense to me either. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guess that's where it started. I don't know. A lot of his motivations didn't make sense. A lot of the, I thought, the most important storyline parts were skipped over. Uh, there seemed to be a couple of like, I don't know, were there, so right before the intermission, did your guy's audio fade out to nothing in the middle of a sentence? Uh, uh, I, I don't, don't remember. remember that. I, I wasn't struck by anything like that. Yeah, they were talking yeah. about how uh, the Lord uh, Linden, like the father, or the, uh, the uh, old husband, Linden, was like a man mm -hmm. of honor and like how he died and everything and then the dialogue just fades out. Like, and it's in the middle of a sentence huh. and it goes to intermission. I was like, is that? I feel like I would have remembered that. I don't know. I, I think so that. too, but I didn't, I don't, I don't remember that happening. Where did you, how did you get it? Did you watch it on Amazon? No, I watched, I got the uh, Blu-ray, the Criterion Blu-ray from Netflix. Oh, well, I feel like that would be. Correct. You'd think that so. That would probably be fine. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. I don't know. 
I just rented it on Amazon. Oh. Yeah, I just we just I just got the generic Netflix. My screen looks squished, but I think it might have just been the clothes that make everybody so, look stumpy. Yeah, well no, there's a <laughs> the there was an ratio. issue. There was an issue with the aspect ratio. Oh and um they, they shot filmed it, it on in, NASA lenses. No, they shot it on something and then squashed it. So you may have really? gotten a copy that was a little bit squashed and looked a little funny because that was an it issue. Did. Yeah, it definitely did look a little funny. Or I just and I Cooper I just, had delivered like when he would deliver the film to projectionists, he had like a list of requirements. Like you couldn't uh, shoot it at a lumens higher than this. You couldn't shoot it at a. I mean, you couldn't play it at at like a like an aspect ratio wider than this. So they had manipulated stuff in the delivery. And um, I'm not. I couldn't figure out what the reason was, but huh. it's a little bit different than your usual 16 by nine or 16 by 10. Yeah, it's like 1.661, or I forget what the hell it was. I was reading through it, so you might have just got a copy that was it, uh, having that issue, and it looked a little yeah, scrunched. Ev- yeah, everybody looked a little stumpy <laughs> because I got a copy like that first online, and then I went to Amazon to rent it because I was like, that can't be the right thing. Yeah. It looks like almost four by three. It's like a little bit wider than four by three. It almost looked yeah. square instead of the whole screen. And then the Amazon one was fine. It was my, my whole 1080p. Oh. So I don't know. Mm. Crap. That, did that detract from you, John? Or was that fine to get used to it? No, I just pretended. I just was like, well, you know, everybody was smaller back then. You just tilted your TV <laughs> back <laughs> like, like 15 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, your, your brain just connected the dots. You're like, ah, I'm fine. I hate this guy. Moving on. It was Let's fine. Go. <laughs> yeah. Um. But even then, I I I, I don't know. It, it, there was just so much still shots of people just sitting there looking sort of vapid that it was you know just sort of vacant. I liked that. So that was on purpose. That was supposed to. It make was you definitely feel, on purpose. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I know. No, there's no question about that. Like I don't. You know, it, it, there's a lot of craft going into this film. And but I it just, also kind of makes me mad because I I mean I I really would want to like it and I'm I do you see I know you you wouldn't like jump on the. Uh, I love a Stanley Kubrick movie bandwagon for the sake of it, you know, so it right. really, it yeah. has something to it, but <laughs> I feel, I still feel, even though knowing that, that people who like this movie kind of like it, you know, I already said this, like, like it because it's Stanley Kubrick. They like slow because they like to be able to tolerate it more than like you right. know, normal right. people type of deal. Yeah, that, yeah. That's just probably a fault of my own. I don't know. Do yeah, not I mean, it's all good. You don't have to like the movie. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to like the movie. I wanted to. I'm going to watch it again. John, I do want to watch it again. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it would be it would be fun. We don't we may not get to it, but to compile a list of movies that we all like either either because we like them or because we wanted to like them more that we we sort of rewatch them at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because this is definitely one of those movies that I'd like to like watch sometime down the road just because now I know I know what it is. And I'm not mm. expecting it to be anything else. And I mean, it's it's like win win for UTC because you like you were on board with the characters right from the beginning, mm-hmm. um, and maybe that maybe you share the same outlook on life that Kubrick does. Well, um, maybe no, whatever, maybe, whatever I don't know be. if it's I that. Know. I just think I can relate to the situation of a guy yeah. who's just does it on his own and just making it up as he goes. Well, and, I think you know, that it's also like none of this matters, and we're all f-ed and sort of thing, kind of. I guess, mm. like you know, that final quote, you know, at, at the very end. I guess so. it's a little dark. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I, I mean, tend to be a bit dark. <laughs> it might be, but that might also be, and that might be the coldness that he's he's just showing, like the the just vacantness of the people and 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 being artistic about it. It's such a weird thing to be like, um, you know, what's beautiful is the scenery and the way people are posed and the furniture and. Uh, everything else, you know, mm. and, and the people themselves are beautiful too, in terms of like how they're dressed and and wigged out and everything. Um, yeah, but it's not, you know, the, the beauty is not in their actions no. or their um, no, no, it's expressions. In the frame. It's in the frame. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's really really interesting. So do you think that when uh, like what what age is it when you get older in you know olden times uh, in the seventeen hundreds that they make you start wearing a gray wig? Well, it's a, wasn't it just a part of a, he was just a part of society, right? It's like an echelon thing. Like you get to a certain point, now you wear a wig. Right, but what, what age is that? Like, do you turn 40 and they're like. No, no, no it's, it's mon- monetary, isn't it? The little boys could wear like, oh, oh, whether you got a gray versus a white wig. Right, yeah. Know, like yeah. Whatever, yeah, like the wigs change as you get to the higher levels. And I don't think he was wearing a wig in the beginning. But they were losing money. Like they lost money. He still had a gray wig on. Yeah. I'm not sure if how many how many beauty marks you had also conveyed status. I don't know. 
Oh yeah. I, yeah, is that highlighting moles or is that shit they painted on? No, it's it's no, that's stuff some kind of on. Yeah, oh. that was some kind of. Um, I just swore this is PG. <laughs> oh, I've been swearing all day. You have to just beep, uh, beep, 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 beep. There'll be a lot of beepings. It's PG. Um, it's PG, and there's uh, there's three sets of boobs really? in this movie. I, and how about how it just starts out? Like, I think my first note was, <laughs> this is going to be over PG, I think. But <laughs> it was like, it was like something, like something really crude, obviously. <laughs> typical me. What was it? It was like, oh, just grabbing <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Cousin. You know, like that, that was like the tits. opening scene. Yeah. That was, was it a cousin? It was a cousin, right? Yeah. I have yeah. that as a question. Is that really his cousin? Because he's obviously in love with her. So that's some weird stuff. I think that yeah. happened back then. <laughs> it was his cousin. I think it happens nowadays too. You yeah. Know? Just less fancy. Uh, well, yeah. Well, not in, you know, anyways. Anyways. She was on. being um, super creepy <laughs> about that too. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. He was. I, I loved the reaction of the Englishman. Being like, well, if a woman's doing that with her linen or whatever the hell he said, then I have no time for her and I must withdraw. I had a question about that. that was so great. he broke up with her, right? On that scene you're talking about, like on the. Uh, and then he was right there with her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What, what happened there? Yeah. That's your typical um, back flip flop, like every other couple does. Oh, okay. I'm mad at you, peace. And then I'm back. I like you. Yeah. And then he threw the glass at his face. Plus, it's kind of like a thing, like they had a whole arrangement set up. Like, it wasn't just like, you like, okay, I like this woman. And like, their families were involved. People were getting ready to, like, get money from the English government. Yeah. Like, it was a whole thing. It wasn't just, you know, I like this chick and she's, she's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, though. That English but hey, Denny, just to, just to get to you, my, first, my yeah. first note of the whole thing, right? Yeah. Was, uh, okay, this is boring. Can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it right. was like all of a sudden I had nine pages of notes like all right maybe I like this movie <laughs> when did you uh, write the boring part like when what part of the movie was that how far in was it literally five minutes so my first <laughs> note that I wrote so I got on the top of the title on the top of the page Barry Lyndon and then after it first note so far too slow <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, yeah well at but least then you, like, I just kept writing and writing and writing and then I was like wait a second I have like literally eight pages so far, and I think I had like thirteen pages of notes. Holy oh shit, wow, dude! Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like well, try because I knew that it was so detail oriented. If I didn't start writing stuff down as I saw it, I would totally forget about it. Yeah, because my brain doesn't work. <laughs> so, uh, what um, did you guys think about the uh, the French captain, or sorry, the English captain that steals his cousin away? Oh, I know. Uh, he was a coward. He was hilarious. I think he's one of my favorite <laughs> characters in the movie. I think. Really? Why? Uh, the the scene where he like has everyone marching, and then he's like about he like does a command, and he turns his face and keeps marching. It made right. me laugh pretty hard. Like the face he put on was pretty <laughs> funny. And then there was a scene where he was dancing with her, and it was ridiculous. Like he, he was like <laughs> prancing around. It was. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, he yeah. was just over the top the entire time. And there were a couple of characters like that that I really liked. Like uh, the Linden father, that scene with him in the poker room. I loved that mm. scene. You know what scene I'm talking yeah. about? I believe so. Where he like is, has like a heart attack at the end or something. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and, he and he tells his him pills. off so good. He's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Well, those should be from people who win. All right. right. You take care, fellas. And yeah. he just like walks <laughs> off. I was like, oh, that's badass. Yeah. Kill him. A little right. He's this guy's about to steal your wife and your fortune, and yeah. and he's gonna yeah. rub it in your face. And you have it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I watched yeah. uh, I watched this uh, this documentary on Stanley Kubrick for this movie called uh, A Life in the Pictures, and I I watched like specifically the Barry Lyndon part for it. And mm -hmm. the scene. Yeah. That, or so let's play like favorite scene, least favorite scene. I'll go least favorite scene first, just because this is where I'm going with this. Um, I wrote down as my least favorite scene when he courts uh lady linden for the first time when he walks out into the courtyard super slowly and just like <laughs> yeah. turns her around it takes like three minutes for him to like walk out and kiss her <sighs> and i was like why right. is this happening denny's got like denny's got like a, t a stopwatch out yeah I'm he's like, like clicking is... he's looking up looking at the stopwatch it's like almost back up at the comically frame. slow <laughs> like i don't even know if it's being played for laughs i don't think so because the music is like super huh. serious but uh, right. But then I watched this documentary, and it's uh, Martin Scorsese describing this scene, uh, and how it's like how beautiful it is, and how it's like perfectly timed. And I just don't understand. Like I just felt completely disconnected from what this movie was going for. I was like, well, I have I have to try again, I guess. But either either that or just not for me. Something like that. Yeah, just a, a swing in the miss for you. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, a swing in the miss. I mean, but then, what would you guys say then, your uh, then, least then. favorite scenes were? And we'll go to the best after. Favorite scenes afterwards. Let's see. 
least favorite scenes. Hmm, TC loved notes. it all. <laughs> no, no, there was some stuff I had like, like what, like what the hell just happened? I wrote a couple times, <laughs> but the thing is, I don't write down time code or anything, so I don't friggin' know when that was from. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not writing down like the moment it happened. I'm just writing down like in big letters, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you got anything, John, go for it. Cause I'm yeah, no, it's, it's all, I mean, it all just blends. So it, it's hard to pick out like a bad, the, the scene that I was really annoyed by because the whole, the movie, the pacing in the movie is pretty methodical all the way through. So it's, it all just blends together for me um, <laughs> for better or worse. I mean, it, it, every, everything feels orchestrated. So, it, you know, whether, I didn't mind that balcony scene or whatever the courtyard scene. They they were like eyeing each other over while gambling and perhaps like you know somehow like conveying things uh, just by how they were you know exchanging glances or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. They didn't care. The, the movie just didn't frankly care about like how they how he courted her or anything like that. You know no. how how the relationship developed, anything like that. It just it just it just didn't care. Um, I think. I think about now. Now that I think about it, I think I think I got most annoyed in the movie with, with when he was being so adoring to his son. Um, it just felt like so overplayed. Yes, my darling, and this, my darling, and I uh, just it seemed so like over the top, especially in contrast with like the lack of emotion throughout the rest of the film. Um, so yeah, but that's, that's the one thing that's I know, human yeah. about him. So it makes I, sense that he's that. Right, that it's like all yeah. overplayed and he's Yeah, just, because yeah, the rest like, of his life he couldn't give it, you know. I know, crap, I know. I guess. I, I, I guess that's the point, but I was I was still sort of annoyed by it. I was like, yeah. Well, if I was that father, I would have been, you're not getting a horse and you're going back to school. So shut up. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> hold no, my no. hands. <laughs> Mommy. No, hold I'm not holding your hand. Hold your own hand. Go away. <laughs> you got two of them, Jesus. don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, two of them over there. Hold one. John, leave me alone. You're going to get your yeah, brains over my father. clothes. Yeah. <laughs> or if I was, the, I was that kid too, Daddy, stop calling me darling. Yeah. All makes right. Me I will. Yeah, it makes me <laughs> cautious. <laughs> uh, yeah, so good. again, but I, yeah, so that, that to me that just it just started to feel a little like overplayed. I don't know, but again, I know I understand. I guess that you know that was the point. He really loves this guy, and maybe I you know I, I think just, I didn't, just the actor himself. I didn't really <laughs> like. I didn't like him sort of as an actor, and he seemed so pretty boy, pasty faced sort of angel like looking like, and they'd have it like it seemed like he was often in like a golden light. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, that was, so that was that was what I'd go with the the uh, the fawning over his child, even though it was still a rough thing. You'd be like, it, that's when Nikki stopped watching the mo movie. <laughs> she got that far and <laughs> shut it off. Yeah. How? Well, the, well, well, the narrator's like, you know, that's crazy. well, he's the boy's gonna die. And she's like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's <laughs> like wow. that's enough. She'd be like, don't worry, Nikki, you're not gonna care about it when it happens. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I think it's still too. That's still rough. To, yeah, to, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna, you're gonna. I mean, they portray the death. I, I thought actually the wife going nuts after poisoning herself was, by contrast, was pretty disturbing emotionally. Yeah, um, yeah. That yeah, sort it was. of comparison. It made me. It made me think a little bit of the Fanny and Alexander scene, not in a different way, but where she, it just felt uncomfortable. It's like, ah, that's. Hey. Oh, I know my. F I know the one I didn't like. I okay. got it. Well, All right, all right, here we yeah. go. I, I, I didn't like that one where they were giving him the award and they were berating him for it. I was so confused. That's the one where I was like, what just happened? They're like, when, when was this? It, it's when he was in the Prussian army and he like saved the commander. So oh, they yeah. had to award him. But as they were talking to him and giving him the award, they were like, no such soldier. They like, were just giving him nothing but shit. And I was so confused. I'm like, what are they doing here? <laughs> what are they trying to do? Are they trying to award him or are they trying to piss him off like i don't get it and Were his they? answer was so like ambiguous yeah he was receiving a reward for saving the guy huh. and then like as he came up to get the reward the two sh things whatever the hell it was whatever money they had back then they were like giving him shit for it they're oh, like no soldier even... should be like you and this and that and oh like, well, although was, you saved the commander, like, you yeah, but he was like an idiot. Yeah, but he was a deserter from the other army. He wasn't their countryman, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Right. I don't know. So maybe, 
It was just a, it was just a strange, just a strange scene that I like. Again, that might have been one that they could have done without because nothing happened be, because of it. Like they, didn't, yeah. Well, well, that's how they they then get ask him to go spy like shortly after that, right? They ask him to, or is that like well after that's after the war ends that they ask him to go? No, spy? No, you might on. be right about that. Maybe that's what spawns that whole thing. Like I don't remember, yeah. but um, yeah. That's all I got. That's that was my least favorite part. That's the one where I just wrote in huge letters what just happened. What just happened? I don't even remember that happening. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. <laughs> that's probably because you weren't. You were like, "What is this?" I was this trying to make stare, any sense. I was staring at the background and being like, "Whoa, whoa, yeah, so painterly." Bro. It is painterly though. It and is. symmetrical. They had a lot of symmetry in those shots. They would position the characters that they wanted to make seem larger than life, like perfect center. Yeah, and they had a lot of like mountains that were like the peak of the mountain was directly in the center of the frame. Yep. Stuff yep, like that. Yep, that Buildings in stuff, the center. Man, I love symmetry. Yeah, I mean, it was so, like, I've noticed Stanley Kubrick's slow zoom outs and slow zoom ins before, and they're nice. Mm-hmm. And the, the symmetry reveal. is nice, but it was like every shot. And that could be considered a good thing, but I thought it was a little overdone. Like, put a little variety in there. Uh-huh. I seem like there was, right. I wrote a note, and John, you mentioned it earlier, like, the slow zoom outs. I yeah. There was too many of them. But they were like, it was one after another, and... And almost every time that was happening, almost no movement was going on. There might be some people like eating bread yeah, like, at a right. table or they something like that. They were sitting still, though. They were very sitting still. Yeah, yeah you might yeah. have like the, the primary characters doing something or whatever. But again, it was like you were observing a painting. Right. And um, But it's a movie. This is a freaking movie, <laughs> Kubrick. If I want to look at a painting, I'd go to a museum and donate $5. Yeah. <laughs> But I would never do that because I don't <laughs> like it. doing that. That's all he's got on. That's but, all. Uh, Denny just made a huge statement there. All he's got on modern art is five bucks. Yeah, five dollars. Five five that's all right. You got a painting? I got five bucks. That make like, you feel guilty this one's if you don't put anything in there. He's like, I don't care. I got five bucks. <laughs> five bucks. And I can just zoom out myself. I can just yeah, stand there and I can walk backwards. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, do favorite moments. I got a pretty. Pretty good one, I think. I got a good one. Uh, yeah, go for it. Favorite shot. It's like one individual shot. Oh, it's kind of a I big... I bet you it's the same one I have. Probably. It's a, and it, it's, yeah. I think it it definitely is for me because it's so far along in the movie and I was like already checked out and this one shot okay. happens and I was like, holy shit, that was oh. awesome. It was the scene nice. where the kid falls off the horse. Oh, yeah. Different one. Okay, that's different from mine, yeah. How did they do that? That horse had a kid on it and it fell over and the kid fell. Like it... Oh yeah! How did that happen? They sh- yeah. How did they it film? It seemed that? like they shot it from below, so he might have had pads behind them. He, but you yeah. see him landed landing on like the grass. I guess oh, they could have. Yeah. No, you, don't, you don't see his body on the grass. You see it. You see it. He like disappears into the grass. I think I he goes off frame. The grass. I think he goes yeah. off frame, uh, and then they cut to him on the grass. I just thought that yeah. was like amazing, like shocking, and uh, you know, I I felt something. I was like, oh man, that kid's like. He's dead. You uh, know? He's done. Yeah. yeah. Well, he didn't. He didn't know he was. I mean, I was not surprised. I didn't I was care. Just like, oh, I forgot. Yeah. I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> Things are gonna He's happen narr- at a zero narr- pace. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just the gonna- narr- narrator was just like blah 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 to wait, you. At that wait. Point. So yeah. this ends with the kid dying. That's cool. Is it done? No, we done. We're not done. God <laughs> damn it, we're not Hang done. On. Even a scene like that duel <laughs> scene where you think, hey, it's a duel <laughs> and it's realistic. Let's. Uh, the tension's gonna be up. I was just like, this is somehow slow and boring. You know, yeah. I was just flat for most yeah. of the movie, but that one, that horse scene, I was like, whoa, you know, so that's, that's yeah. mine. Yeah. That was my, problem. that's, that's cool. That's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. What do you got, John? So, yeah, I already said this. I, I think the dual scene, I'd sort of like, I was perked up a bit there because like right before the, um, his, the stepson comes back, he like has this moment where he talks about how you know, maybe he deserves what he's got and, and he deserves Barry's like saying, you know, people are treating me terribly and I think I deserve it. And I know what I must do now. Yeah. Um, and that scene ends. And then the next scene is he's there, uh, drunk, uh, and, and the stepson comes up and challenges him to a duel. So I don't know if that meant that Barry, like, I, so what, what is, so I thought somehow he was making this happen. I don't know. Um, so I didn't understand that. I thought that scene meant something because Barry was do what he must do. What is it he must do? Like, go get drunk. But um, but then, so I was like interested to see what happened in the duel. It made me think that he would do something like what he did, you know, like fire into the ground. Um, mm. But that scene, the the formality of it, I really liked that. I like I, that because it's a duel and yet there's all this formality and acknowledgement and like going over the rules. And is that okay with you, sir? Or whatever they say, you know. Yeah. Uh, and and just like the the methodicalness of it 
um, I thought was pretty cool. Because I, I felt that was tense at that point. So I didn't really know what was going to happen. I, yeah, I, me I thought that I didn't have the narrator there did not tell you what was going to happen. So the narrator had kept his mouth shut for a good while at that point. Imagine um, if the narrator was just like uh, with the dude with the alligators. Oh, and he's about to shoot him with the gun. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> Crikey. He's coming up with the gun. And here he comes. He's going to. Oh, 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 we're missed. going over the oh. rules. We're going over the rules. They should have gotten Bill Burr to do it or something. Some Irishman. Yeah. Some Irish comedian. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine Bill Burr doing that? What are these guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a gun. Just shoot him already. I'm, that would be funny. Yeah, we should do what we should do is do our own commentary. Oh, Oh, yeah. Her own voiceover yeah, over the go. film, like <laughs> MS3K or whatever that was. And be a lot of talking, a lot of space. Well, so, to so my favorite shot in the whole movie was that cabin on fire. How long that must have taken. To, to, it must have taken so long to get that cabin in a raging inferno. They yeah. had to be there for what hours, letting that thing burn before they got the one shot. And what was he just sitting there going, "Nope, not yet. Let it get a little bit more on fire. Let, no, no." Uh, all right, go, 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 go. It's halfway down. Let's go. That's true, I mean, yeah. I mean, that thing was Wait. burning up. Where was this? Because I'm so sorry. This movie just seems to blend together for me. Like, <laughs> John nodded you know, off I, You know, I saying. don't actually, I don't know the exact moment. I can ah. try and find it. But, <laughs> um, it, it yeah, <laughs> I, oh, I mean, it's three hours long. What do you expect? <laughs> it's My more brain than doesn't three. work. I write things down. Yeah, I write things down. <laughs> um, the yeah, I just felt like I I just tried to take was it that, from was like that a like one of the war standpoint. Scene? Was that during the war or something? One of the war scenes or where? What was uh, what was the context there? Uh, let me just find it. You scan I'll it through, through it and find it as we go. Yeah, I'll scan through. No. But it, I just remember thinking from a production standpoint alone. No. Um, I mean, that was their one shot of the day, right? It was at the. It was like. The that that hour that everyone loves, the magic hour, right? It was like just before dusk, and that thing was halfway burned. Yeah, and I mean, you, they had to burn it. There's no CG back then, right? Like, yeah, I'll find it and let you know. Yeah, so I guess there's no stories of Kubrick treating his actors terribly from this one, right? I mean, because no. he wasn't really expecting much from them. No, everyone and he just got to stand there. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, everyone who talked about this one, there's not this one. Unfortunately, is one of. Uh, two movies that Kubrick has that has no special features at all. Um, this and Lolita, which isn't on the top 250. So this will be like, hopefully the next one, there'll be a lot more information. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure yeah. you guys. Oh, uh, to look through. I see what you're saying. Yeah. To like, there's, there's commentaries for other movies by like movie historians and crap and there's interviews and things like that. This one didn't have much. There was like a 10 minute section in that uh, Life of Stanley Kubrick documentary and some interviews with people after the fact. But that's about it. So I got a little stuff there, mm. but I got some questions in the main plot for you guys. They're just like things I wanted to bring up for discussion real quick. What did you think about? So I'm sure, again, watching it, I assumed everything that Kubrick did was uh, authentic as possible. Um, I don't know if you guys heard this. He was going to do a movie on Napoleon. So he spent a lot of time yes. uh, researching yes. for that. Uh, Ooh, that would have been great. Yeah. But so the, the budget for that one would have been ridiculous and he never got it made. So he used all of his research for that movie in this movie. So there was oh. like years and years of research he did for this one. So he actually got clothing from that time period, actual clothing, uh, in addition to um, costumes made to like a T of designs back then with the fabrics they were made with. So like all the clothing and stuff was like, you know, perfect. Um, but what did you think about the battle yeah. scene? I hate how they fought back then. I know. How stupid yeah. are you? Yes. Walking towards the fucking gunfire yeah. and then just lying down. What's wrong with it's you It's frustrating. Oh, but it that's was what they frustrating. Did. That's what they did, yeah. exactly. But at the same time, watching it, I was like, I can't stand this. Like, you guys are all going to die. Do you not care? Like, <laughs> no one how, cared how about, about dying? The, the, no, and how about how, like, how serious you had to be involved to, like, continue walking? Yes. Like, like, that oh, takes a yeah. lot of guts. Now goes John. Oh, <laughs> yeah. there goes TC. Oh, Gotta keep walking. Oh, <laughs> Gotta keep going. <laughs> Like what? I don't get it. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't. I think the the battle scenes. Like, I can't believe they ever fought that way. I think my note that I wrote is: there's got to be a better way to war than yeah, this. Yeah, any other way. Lay down on the ground and crawl yeah. towards them. You have a better chance. Right. I mean, yeah. back in like back in like the in like remember in Gladiator or something, right? Like there's there's bow and arrows. Like keep a distance. Do yeah. something, but walk twenty feet from all the gunfire. And also, when know. when you get in range of the other guns, don't you want to like? start running or stop and then shoot it back at them or something like you're just walking into gunfire. What is the strategy here? You know, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I don't know. It, I think it, I, again, there's just sort of odd people had 
certain very rigid conceptions of what war was. I, I mean, there there's just sort of it's really interesting to think about like that camouflage, for example, was like something that was, used to be laughed at. You know, so so like the soldiers would have like, like British soldiers would have bright red uniforms. Yeah, and, yeah. So you can and see come World War One right? that that began to be a problem. Yeah, um, <laughs> but but it it took them a long time to admit that oh that's probably a bad thing. Um, well, and I guess maybe just because they kept winning. Well, so, maybe too. Maybe maybe yeah. yeah. That's true. That's a fair enough point. Like it you know it worked worked good enough up till this point. Um, yeah. Right. Right. Like who cares about Tom, Dick, and Harry? Like they're dead. It doesn't matter to me. We won. But it's one of the interesting things, like World War One is part of that, but it was already, things were already dying out at that point. But there's just like, they just broke, a lot of the rules sort of, quote unquote, rules of warfare were just like broken. Um, and then uh, people had to adapt to win, right? Yeah. So um, right. I'm thinking, but, I'm just yeah. thinking of uh, in my head right now, do you think they did it like that with the lines and stuff so they could not only try to attack the enemy, but also keep track of all of their own soldiers? Because if they like split off and tried to do it all sneaky like, then like groups of soldiers might be like, hey, Let's get out of here and then just like run off right. into the woods. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a that's a that's you know, it, yeah, logical as hell right there. I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about history. I'm just guessing, you know. But I can't I think of any other about reason. historical warfare. Yeah, yeah. Warfare I don't know any other reason why you would like, do that. I can't think of anything yeah. else that would make sense. But well, because you're dumb. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like reading books. I like watching the movies. I uh, know, guys. It's cool. We're just gonna keep walking. Are you sure? Like they're shooting at us? No, nah, no. Nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just keep walking. Guys. And how do you good, practice for that? You know. Like, do you people just walk? Just, you just walk? <laughs> <laughs> but do they fire, like, guns at you? Like, loud, like, blanks or something? Yeah. So you get used to the like loud back in the noise? day, they just got their hands going, pew, 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 pew. all right, keep walking. Pew, 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 pew. Have you're you guys dead, ever dead, been to, like, a Civil War reenactment? No. No, I haven't no? been. Have you? Have you ever, I, have, I have been. And have you ever heard a musket go off? Uh, no. Not live. John? Is it loud as hell? John? No, nah, no. Not live. No. It, it is It is loud. It is f***ing loud as shit. Just like one going wow. off is like ridiculously right. loud and it's not fun. Like it's, it's unpleasant how loud it is. And I can't imagine like 60 of those things. Your ears just must instantly go like, boop. And you're oh, like, oh right. God. Yeah, you couldn't even hear. Yeah. Right. Instantly. I, like, I would assume they probably plug their ears full of stuff, but uh, it would be awful. Just, just that. And then you get shot. Yeah. Right. Huh. You look over at the next guy. Well, yeah. go ahead, I just was doing a little bit of quick research here that that part of the reason is just the muskets themselves, even though they don't show this in the film. Oh, they're not long a, range. Produced a, that, but they produced a whole lot of smoke. Um, and you could barely, after you've, the first volley, nobody could see anything. Really? Oh. <laughs> Why? That makes sense. Yeah, so, but that sucks. Like, what are you supposed to do? It's just like bad technology so, uh, at the like, time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, there is just like, it's a lot more smoke, ash, powder, residue, and noise. And so it's like hard to know what the hell is going on. So like, if you wanted to keep an effective fighting force, they had to kind of all like stick together and ah, point at the right direction. That uh, makes sense. So, so then they didn't do a, Great job then of being realistic because there didn't seem to be much smoke. No, That's true. no, in that, that, well, you wouldn't have seen anything, right? You know, but, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. If the French were like uh, engulfed in smoke, then I'd be like, oh, they're walking because they know that they the French can't see anything, and they're just gonna like come up, go up real close, and just blast them and shoot them all away. Yeah. yeah. If they make it that yeah, far. Yeah, if they, like, half of them will make it, maybe a quarter, <laughs> and that's enough. Just, like, unload. There's only, like, five lines of people, it seemed like. There wasn't that many people. No, it didn't seem like that many, you're right. But, I mean, for a movie, that was a lot of extras and a lot of costumes. Yeah. But, yeah. My yeah. other favorite yeah. part was when he's on the trail there and he sees the, the girl. And, like, I got this really, like, like a, so, like, he's on, the, he's on the horse. He's like, is there an inn anywhere? Like, I haven't eaten in two days. <laughs> Like, it's like when you're in your car and you're, you're on empty, you're on empty and you're like, I have no gas. And then you get to that sign on the highway. It's like next stop, 34 miles. And you're like, oh boy, I'm not going to make this. How am I going to do this? And you have that like instant panic of like, I'm going, I'm just going for it. But like, where am I going? I don't even know. Like, uh, how am I going to get gas? And like, I remember thinking like, all I could think of was like, Hey, hon, you look great. I'd love to have, you know, whatever with you, but um, where's the inn? Yeah. I am starving right now, right? Like, like <laughs> yeah. I thought that was just so, like, it was so, like, relatable road to now. Trippy. with Just, like, yeah, yeah, road tripping, right. And having no idea where you are and just being either out of food or gas and then, like, and then you go going with bang a, a German widow, you know, just like you, you I mean, you, why you not? Do, yeah. You know, two birds with one stone, two birds stoned at once. <laughs> 
Uh, did your guys' version of this movie have subtitles for the different languages? No. No. Nope. That was hard, nope. to, hard to understand. That was parts. hard. I was uh, confused for sure. You just sort of assumed. And, and again, well, yeah. again, the Filled movie is like, screw you. We don't care. This isn't about what people say, really, or right. even do. It's more about just, hey, you know, everybody's just along for the ride. It doesn't really matter anyway because they're all going to die. And I don't know. I mean, and it so, kind of so just why, seemed like they was in the context, like whatever they were saying was irrelevant. So it didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, you know? exactly. So I think that was kind of the thing, too. So, yeah. So but, there was. But it did yeah. take me a minute to get to that thought. At first, I was right. like, wait, how does Amazon not have subtitles for the French? <laughs> right, yeah. You know, like, I was, like, pissed. I was like, what do you mean? Did I get a bum copy? So I started, like, turning the closed caption on and off, and it just had them in French. <laughs> it just put the, the words up in French. I'm like, okay, great. Now I can read the French. But I, 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 French. I had a thought for this. I was like, maybe the, uh, the guy who's doing the subtitles got bored and was like, all right, it probably doesn't have different languages and shut it off. It was the, sa- <laughs> the same right. feeling I had for the, uh, the ratings board who, like, you know, got like an hour in and he's like, all right, PG, nothing's happening. And like at two hours in, there's boobs and you're like, oops, you missed it. <laughs> so like, it's total, like, it's total like workman's incompetence. Yeah, that, you just like, get bored and shut it off. <laughs> just like I mean, I you have a point because those, those parts didn't come in until late and it where was they not, weren't. And this, so the the third set of boobs was like artistic. She was in the bath. Like that was like a painting. <laughs> yeah. But the, right. the two first pair, he was like, it was sexual because he was making out with these two people he was cheating on his wife with. Right, 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 right. right. You would think that that would, I mean, it was like this, the shot was beautifully set up and everything, but, uh, you know, there was, uh, there was some boobs yeah. in there. Boobs. That's a, that's true. That's yeah. definitely not PG, right? I mean, right. this is back in a time before PG thirteen, so it might have been harder to to rate uh, them. Right. That's true. There might have been more space. I mean, it certainly wasn't. Um, it it wasn't played up like. I mean, it was sort of almost happening in the background. You know, it wasn't like you you had a sharp focus on the scene of what he was doing. Well, um, what was with the soldiers all like acapella? I didn't even <laughs> what notice. Was that I mean, about. I, I didn't even notice that the, the boob shots. I didn't. So, but that one scene where they're in the whorehouse, how could you not have uh, noticed that? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice the actual the boobs. John, John, the John was staring at his screen, eyes glazed over for three hours. <laughs> Dude, John was KO. Yeah. John was KO <laughs> as hell after the first intermission. He was like, "That's it. Oh, I'm wait. good. I'm done." Yeah. Oh, well, we we did we I broke it up into two nights because yeah, smart. Uh, I did. A, I marathoned it. Yeah, yeah, I went right through. Took like way too many notes. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? So those those are most yeah, yeah. of my notes. Yeah. What else, you got anything else interesting that you you put down um, that you want to I talk think about? I pretty much. A very important scene that I also wanted to talk about was the scene in the church. Was it a church when uh, Barry beats his uh, son in law up? Uh, I don't think that was the church. That's like the parlor where they were uh, having a concert. House. And, oh, concert. And, right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What did and you the th- boy the, the little boy is brought in clonking on the boots. That scene right? confused me the most out of the entire movie until I knew what was going on because it lasted for like three minutes of the kid like clap 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 like what what did my movie break <laughs> what is happening right now <laughs> Oh really Oh no I, I mean I really didn't you know I mean obviously that I thought that you know that the stepson wants to just piss off dad so this is a great way to just sort of ruin the concert. Um, well, in the beginning, I couldn't tell if like the shoes were supposed to be as loud as they were, and like the, the oh. mix was off because no one was like looking at him immediately. But like when he got halfway down the aisle, like, people were staring at him, and the music eventually stops. Then you got it. I got but you. in the beginning, yeah. I was like, yeah. "Well, that kid's shoes are oddly weird, and this shot is oddly long. Like I don't really know what's happening right now." Mm. Huh. That happened yeah. a bunch. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> but did you think that was so? Like reading a lot of reviews, that scene has it's like a big turning point. That's like the start of the downfall. You know, like the first half of the movie is supposed to be the rise of Barry and the second half is supposed to be the fall of Barry. So, right. so says the title mm-hmm. cards. But like, and that, yep. according to everybody, is the beginning of his downfall, or at least the peak, like uh, acceleration of his downfall. Everybody, yeah, everybody like he, you know, he's he's uh, he's teetering on the brink again with debts and whatnot yeah. anyway, right? Um, but publicly like embarrassing himself and like right. being petty and all that stuff. That was a, that was a pretty, uh, I, I'd say that was a, pretty effective fight scene i thought it was very disturbing i, I yeah it's it, he, he really you know went after him yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> what i have yeah. on those <laughs> my notes on that is public humiliation is real in this part medusa <laughs> hair is disappointed <laughs> and then i wrote and then i wrote the guy's <laughs> irish we fight get yeah. over it yeah <laughs> she knew what she was getting into 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Get over it. Guy likes to fight. Yeah. What do you want? Also, the his son seemed pleased when it was happening, and I was curious about that. Mm. You know what I'm oh, saying? See, yeah, that's, like when he was yeah. getting pulled out of the room by Medusa head over there. Like he had a Medusa big smile hair. on his <laughs> face. <laughs> Hey, Medusa. She was very. That was uh, pretty Medusa hair, right? I well, mean, that, was wig, that wig in that scene. No, that that wig in that scene was crazy. <laughs> she was it like, was. "What's your name from uh, Alice in Wonderland?" The new ones, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, I liked the I liked the end though, where they um, they kind of had that feeling of like you know when you got money, like even when you have money, like life's a f- pain in the ass. Like they're still signing check. Like she's still signing the guy's check for him to leave. Yeah, she hates him end. so much she just pays to not like, see him. She hates him so much that she still has to pay him and then she sees that and hates her life because she's still yeah. paying this guy and yeah. every other jerk that he screwed over or had to pay. And Is the first scene we see with them after their marriage him blowing, like him ignoring her and then blowing like pipe smoke into her face? Oh, that's that, no, that that's scene. way back. That's way back. No, I'm saying like right after they get married. That's like yeah, the yeah, first. Would scene. you please not smoke in so much? And he's like, poof, right in your. I didn't face. think I could hate him more, but I could, and yeah. that was it. Just like, dude, why, why are you such an asshole? Because he's he's an aristocrat now, and he's a uh, he's higher echelon. And that's how they are. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they were always like. Any of his friends were like that. Yeah, they were all assholes, and they were gamblers, and they were. Uh, misogynists and they were, you know, philanderers. They were just, they were, yeah, they were, they were assholes. Yeah. And he fit right in after that. A part of the narration, too, when the narrator was like, and he wanted to be a pure gentleman from here on out. Did he ever yeah, he really want to do that? Like, I felt like the narrator was adding stuff that, you know, wasn't there. Well, yeah, and- he was definitely exaggerating that. But again, when he shoots yeah. the ground and not the kid, he could have killed that kid. That was Real surprising. Yeah. 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 I mean, he had a heart, and the, and the, uh, him losing his kid uh, definitely <laughs> screwed him up. Maybe so. I, well, I think he thought that um, the kid would want to stop. The kid would stop a, but also like he his his downfall would be certainly complete anyway if he shoots his kid and kills his own. His Not in a duel. I think the, the, it's very yeah. polite. No, Not that's the duel. thing though, because okay. he got in trouble. The first thing he got in trouble with was shooting the wrong person in a duel. You know. That's why he ended up leaving oh, home. Yeah, supposedly they faked that, which I, that was a, that was a cool twist. That was a cool twist. But I also the twist coming, on the twist was that they faked it, but the guy was still scared, so he was in a coma for a long time. Or like you know, I know that was bad. he woke up scared. He yeah. said that was awesome. <laughs> like so, you still got him, son. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it's up for debate whether he had you know empathy, but I think he did. And they tried to play that up with the son, and then that last duel. And him being just a drunken mess grieving and the mother having to carry him off to bed and, you know, very normal reactions to tragedy. Yeah. I mean, if he was a total psychopath, he would have just be like, don't care. Kid's gone. Great. Moving on. Next. Let's gamble and take all their money, too. Like, that's what a psycho would do. Yeah, that was the first time he didn't just get up and move on from his bad fortune. Right. He was he was upset. And I did like that aspect of the whole story, the generalized story that is. When life screws you over, you just got to find the next, uh, the next answer, the next path. Yeah. yeah. You just got to, you just bounce on, which he did. Yeah. Like, and he did. Greatly. Yeah. He did. And then he got, and then he did that typical thing that people do when they have success and money and fame and all that crap like they do now. They lose themselves. Yeah. Well, some, I don't people, think ever, some people. I don't think he ever had himself though. I don't, I think he was like, he never had, I don't, you know, he just, I don't think he knew where to go. <laughs> well, right, but when you go from needs driven to yeah, like excess, right? I mean, like it's easy to just be like whatever, right? Well, he just went right to the even with the excess, he was right to the next need because he he needed to become a lord or become a noble or whatever, and that's what he then you know he was always like more, more, more. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It was greedy a little bit. Well, that yeah, but also like that that was his. That's what he'd done all his life. He just was grasping for for the next thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's like. And that was the mother, right? That was coming up with that idea. That was his mother. Uh, oh, yeah, to get him out of there. When she, yeah, when she's like, "You have to become a a lord," and like, if you can do that, you're gonna be fine. I actually don't know. Right. I don't know whose idea I was. I think that was his mother. No, I, I think you're right that that she was like she was just maybe I don't remember. I she was like, "You that. have barely gotten by these years. You're like you're hanging on by a thread. If you want to be okay, you need to make yourself like a." proper man but in his world all that meant was becoming something of higher echelon not like doing better but she meant it too that way so I mean, he's getting it from the top mm. down that's true yeah yeah 
Uh, this movie was nominated for seven Oscars, and it won four of them. Wow. It won Best Cinematography, uh, Art Direction, Set de- Decoration, uh, Best Costume Design, and Best Music, Original Song and or Adaptation Score. Uh, and, hmm. it, and Stanley Cooper got nominated three times for Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Writing. I didn't win any of them. Uh, oh. Uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. It's typical Oscars. Yeah. If you guys were to guess what the budget of this movie was, what would you guess? Hmm. It was made in 75. 75. Uh, well, he, he would come off of 2000. Was, it was after, this was after 2001? This was, a, this was after uh, Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange. So that was, that was, was that a successful movie? I don't even know. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to discuss that later, but that, that was, I could see it being successful or not just because of how disturbing it was. It was successful. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you'd think that they're like, all right, what, what you got next? Stanley, come on, you know, and they'd bankroll him for a little bit more. So I'm going to say two million. Two million. Two million. That's it. That's not much. This is after 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, after Spartacus. I'd be like, I'm more like 20 to 30. Really? Really? It's still the 70s. I went, okay. What, what do you got? TC 20 to 30? Yeah. So, John, you, you're going to stick with two? You might as well. I mean, that was your first guess. That counts. Yeah. Yeah. To the bitter end. <laughs> uh, 11 million. Ah, uh, so uh, not that was one of us far. were close. Yeah, yeah, we're about in the middle. Yeah, yeah. You know. I thought it would be more. I, I was, I'm with TC. Like it seems like with all the sets well, with all, and, the, and yeah, the costumes the and the extras, and, and apparently, I don't yeah. think they had to build a lot of the sets in this one. They just had these places. They had to build that house <laughs> that they burned that's down. True. <laughs> and the exteriors were there in Ireland and England, but it didn't say anything about the interiors. So there's a lot of been, really fancy houses been. they probably had to rent from really rich people. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Uh, were, like, though, some of those paintings in those houses, though, they were like, huge. The whole wall, yeah. 20 feet tall. It was insane. And the shooting uh, took uh, over 300 days of shooting. Wow. Yeah, I, heard, I remember reading like he, they, they did so many takes, yeah. like 10, 20, 50, 30 takes. 50 takes sometimes. Yeah. 50 takes? Yeah, sometimes 50 takes. Oh, man. And You'd apparently, like five now. the biggest factor to the long shoot was replacing all of the candles. <laughs> Oh yeah, the candles. Those goddamn the well, candles. Well, they all and they all have to be like burned at the same spot. Yep. Like they, wasn't right? that a Fanny and Alexander issue as it well? It was. Yeah, uh, but they, they didn't yeah. do as many. Uh, I I don't know. This movie had a, a, kind of an equivalent amount of candles. I think like there was a lot in both. No, no, no. I think that they, they, well, this movie had more like um, chandeliers. They didn't have as many. There's a lot of ca- chandeliers with candles in them in the chandeliers. Yeah, but there were there were a smaller <laughs> number of candles. Like I thought in this one, it, it, but they were more close up, like that, where they were like seemed to be directly lighting the scene. I think in um, like Fanny and Alexander, there were just candles everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, for the hell of it. Yeah, when that kid yeah, was going so. to bed, and he's like, "I want to leave the candles on." I would have been like, "No, you're gonna burn the house down. I'm putting the candles on. Go to yeah. bed. Yeah. Burn the house down. What are you stupid? <laughs> are you dumb? It's no. all dusty cloth everywhere. We're gonna die. Yeah, p- put them out. <laughs> put them out. What's wrong with you? If you were to guess what it grossed uh, worldwide, what would you guess? Two million. Two million. Yeah, Ten million. <laughs> Ten million. Thirty-one point five million. Oh, Damn. I should have so. Them. What, it, it wasn't a flop. Not a huge flop. And it actually, and it also says that it's made a 9.5 million in rentals. Whoa. So, so it, it was like a big hit later. on VHS, apparently. Yeah, VHS. Yeah. <laughs> that laser disc was selling strong, let me tell you. <laughs> well, How many VHS tapes do you think this was? Like five? People probably just rented it because it was like the same price as a normal movie and it came with five VHS tapes. Not like two. Two? Well, no. 45 minutes of Titanic side. was like Three, wasn't it? Maybe two. I don't know. I don't know. Probably three. I remember, I, yeah, honestly, thank God we don't remember. Yeah. It's over. VHS is dead. VHS was Move terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember when those came out, though. Like, the very first ones, they were, like, selling for over $100 because it's like, wow, think of it. You could just, you can actually own a movie. I have a uh, copy of the movie Return to Oz, which was the sequel to Wizard of Oz, and it has uh, eighty nine ninety nine printed on the outside on the hardcover. Whoa. Yep. For VHS. I got it on eBay in high school for like 15 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but 89 99 was yeah, the original. Somebody wow. bought Holy that yeah. for when they first when they first came out. I, I mean again, it was just like that was such a you know, you couldn't even imagine that you could own a whole movie. Yeah. I mean right now play it as many times as you want. Right now they have that uh thing where you can buy movies that are still in theaters for your home theater and it's it's like a hundred mm. something bucks. It's like super expensive. 
Oh, I thought it was like like a member, a ten thousand dollar a year membership or something. Oh, I've heard of that too. I'm not sure um, that's happened yet. There's people are trying to stop that from happening. Oh, great! Uh, the rich can be more rich and yeah. get everything sooner. Awesome. Well, they're that's actually the fantastic. theaters are afraid that people will stop going to theaters, so they want to keep. They will. Like, yeah, they might, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't. But the rich people will, but not us. Yeah, I love the theaters. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do too. Yeah. yeah. So, any more thoughts on this one, guys? I, I like this is the most I've diverse run the for gamut. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah. And I'm happy for you, TC. What do we got coming up next week? What do we got coming yeah, up? Yeah, I, I think again, well well done, TC. Good job. Uh <laughs> here being and there the I saw one. pepper in, you know, some effort. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh so yeah, next week we have prisoners. Oh, yes. This one. This one. I was looking it up. This one looks kind of good. I haven't seen it, though. Have you? I have not, but I, I am terrified about seeing this. Is, isn't it about the kid kidnapping yeah. of the children yes. thing? And this yeah, movie is... Rough. So we talked about Arrival like last week or a couple weeks ago. Um, this is a this is the first Denny Villeneuve movie on the list. Oh. And I think oh. he has two on the list. Um, this is the first one. And this one is recent. And he's working uh, with... Uh, the cinematographer that's going to be working with him for the new Blade Runner movie. Okay, so that's exciting. Ah, well, this that's be good. That's, then, all, huh? that's all. That's very exciting. Then, uh, other than the the subject matter, which might be yeah, really it's going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be um, disturbing. I don't think Nikki yeah. might not watch this one with me either. Uh, Naomi yeah. watched it with me, and she, I think, she, in my head, I think she liked it, but uh, I think she might have hated it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah right. she's being nice. They got a very real so, reaction. So you're out saying of her. you're saying no. <laughs> she did. If Nikki, if, <laughs> I'll say in the Vegas way, if Nikki gets upset easily by things, then she shouldn't watch it. Yeah, because there are some things. Well, I I think the, the <laughs> possibly some, some stuff. things. The, <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the 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 subject matter of children being abducted is 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 enough never to be good. like yeah. to be like a no. Yeah. At that no. point, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's cool. That, yeah. so, so read the synopsis for us all, so we we know. I, I so kind of interrupted wait, wait, you wait. there. Did we do it? Did we do a top two hundred and fifty? Oh yeah, vote on this. Oh, one? we should absolutely. Good call, John. Uh, TC, you go first. <laughs> I'd say yeah, yeah. If Fanny and Alexander's going to be in there, then yeah. So uh, <laughs> a quick question: Which one did you like more out of those two? Mm. They, I don't know, because they brought out different kind of uh, motion. So. Huh. That's a tough but, one. But similar, enough where you can't quickly decide. Yeah, similar. Yeah, no, I can't quickly decide on which one would be better. It's oh, a tough cool. one. Because it brings us back to the point of, like, the director forcing his viewpoint on you versus not. And this is two different kind of films. Yeah, but, that's yeah. true. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, John, what, did you, what would you do? Um, At least from this watching, no. I mean, and there's also a number of other Kubrick films here that we're going to be watching. Um, So I, I think it's it's a no for me. I'm gonna go. Cool. I, oh, I, I feel like what I feel like we're on. What is it? America's Got Talent or something like that? No, I'm sorry, Barry Lyndon. Eh, it's a no that's for a me. No. I'm sorry, Barry Lyndon. No, that's a no. No, oh, no it, was, it was good try. We have to, uh, you know, good try, good try, mate. Good polarize try. Good our try. thing as much as possible to make it easy to to palate whether we liked it or not. Right? I don't know. Yeah. It seems to be a thing. Yeah. But I'll also go no. But uh, I wish it was a yes. I'm gonna watch it again. I'm gonna try to make it a yes over time. Uh, well, are, are we? Are we're gonna <laughs> put it on the list of. Of the secondary watch, and then I got a yes, you got a yes, and then John's got a no. No, I got a no. Uh, I'm doing a no right now. <laughs> oh, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I, gotcha, I, gotcha. I was like, yeah, I did not enjoy it. I was bored to tears. <laughs> cool. But I, cool. I appreciate so, so, the craft. It, so it made you, it made you cry. Oh, I was you. crying, yeah. <laughs> With, with boredom. Yeah, <laughs> with boredom. But you cried. And I actually there watched this in the same situation. So I, it was, I was hung over for, from a New Year's party when I watched this. So it was like hung over uh, from a Halloween party for Fanny, Fanny and Alexander loved it. Hung over from a New Year's party for this one. Didn't like it. <laughs> Hated it. So state of mind was the same, yes, yeah. different outcome. So yeah, that was yep. that. Um, all right, cool. Well, till next week. So uh, if you want to email us, email us at mission250filmcast at gmail.com. Go to mission250filmcast.com to find our list and all of our previous episodes. You can follow our list along. Uh, rate and subscribe on iTunes. And thanks for listening. And see you guys next yeah. week. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. See you guys next week. <laughs> see, you guys. see you next week, brother.